To the coronavirus now, an FDA advisory panel has endorsed Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11. Now, if regulators agree, shots could begin as early as next week. Young kids would get just a third of the dose given to teens and adults. Joining us live now is pediatric infectious disease specialist with Santa Clara Valley Medical Center, Dr. Vidya Moni. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So how big of a deal is this in terms of fighting this pandemic? So this is actually quite a big deal. Um, us in the pediatric uh, realm are super excited about this because we know that 28 million children um, are affected by this and it would be great to have a vaccine to help keep our children safe and help prevent any further issues associated with this terrible virus. What do you tell parents that are concerned about this, thinking that maybe the, the, the trial wasn't as long as they, they want to see more evidence? What do you tell concerned parents that aren't quite sure about giving their kids the shots? Sure. So I think in general, the trial was actually done quite appropriately. They didn't cut any corners in this. They recruited appropriately. If you, if you drill down to the demographics, they did everything appropriately. They had about half um, males versus females. They used a myriad of ethnic backgrounds. And they followed the patients for about two to three months afterwards to make sure that there were no serious side effects and serious COVID that was noted. And none of it was noted. More specifically, they did look into the myocarditis okay. issue, which is the inflammation of the heart, which I'm sure many parents are concerned about. And they didn't find any cases of that either, which is great news, right? Because we know that we saw that um, in young males <laughs> with the 30 microgram dose. Now, children will, will get two doses of the Pfizer vaccine, but do you anticipate them also needing a booster shot down the line like the adults and teens do? I think that's difficult to state right now. Mm -hmm. I think what's really important to remember is that the studies done for the kids was done during the time of Delta. So the initial studies that were approved for the 30 microgram dose were done with the Alpha variant, which was the initial strain, which is why we needed a booster shot now for those specific patient populations in order to better cover us for the Delta variant. But now that these studies were done in children during the Delta and uh, the Delta variant, it doesn't necessarily seem that we know that they need a booster right now, but I think we'll just have to wait and see what happens next. And what about the younger children? When do you anticipate toddlers and even babies being eligible to get the shot? Oh, I would think that would be in 2022, okay. hopefully in the springtime. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't see it coming out just quite yet, but hopefully next year. Well, a lot of folks excited about Halloween, a lot of kids excited about Halloween. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this year they're able to go out and trick or treat a little bit. Any do's and don'ts to help keep your family safe? Yeah, so first of all, Halloween is outside, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, I would remember to bring your hand sanitizer with you. Wear a mask, make it fun, design the mask, you know, have fun with um, all of your friends. But remember, you stay with the group of people that you know and don't wander off into groups of people that you don't know. And remember to just stay socially distant from groups that you don't know and to wash your hands. So pretty much the same advice we've always been giving this right. entire time, but have fun. Absolutely. Have fun. Number one rule. All right, Dr. Moni, thank you so much for joining us.